morning, Moat families. I'm Miss Allison, and it's a beautiful day for some backyard yoga. Welcome to Ocean Moves with Moat. Today we are going to learn about sea turtle babies and what it takes to survive. We're going to learn about this through stories and our moves. So let's get started. Well, to have a baby turtle, we need a mama turtle to lay some eggs. So let's all pretend we are mama sea turtles swimming in the ocean. Let's go down on our bellies. Okay, so we're gonna go on our belly and we are going to swim using our flippers and we'll move our flippers seven times for seven species of sea turtle. Ready? One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. And now that mama sea turtle needs to crawl out onto the beach to lay her nest. So in Florida, we have two species of sea turtles that do this the most. One is the loggerhead. And the loggerhead alternates flippers when she crawls up on the beach, just like that. turtle uses both flippers at the same time. So you can try and push up. There we go. And she's finally made it onto her favorite beach. And it's probably the beach where she was born. Let's go ahead and pretend to be digging our nest. Let's stand up. So once the mama sea turtle has found the perfect spot to make a nest, she uses her flippers to dig a hole. So, stand with your feet apart, and let's pretend that our arms are flippers scooping the sand out of the way. Scoop to the side, scoop to the other side, scoop to the other side, scoop to the other side. This actually takes a really long time, but now our nest is built. Let's look in and see how many eggs the mama sea turtle has laid. So here we can pretend like our legs are the nest. Put the soles of your feet, the bottoms of your feet together, and we're gonna peek in and count the eggs. One, two, three, four. How many do you see? I see a uh, hundred. Me too. I see a hundred too. Sea turtles can lay 100 eggs or more in a nest. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. yeah. It is. So next, after the mama has laid her eggs, she is going to cover up the nest to hide it, like a good mama should. So let's stand up again and cover up our nest. We're gonna scoop towards the middle now. We're gonna take our flippers and cover up the nest. Take our flippers, cover up the nest. Awesome, I think it's pretty well hidden. Now this mama does not stick around to see her babies hatch. She goes right back into the ocean. So let's get down on our bellies again and we'll flap our flippers seven times as we swim towards the ocean. One, two, <laughs> One, two three, four, five, six, seven. And the mama swims away. But those eggs are in the nest. Let's pretend to be a little sea turtle egg. Make yourself as small as you can in a little ball on the floor. Now sea turtle eggs look exactly like ping pong balls. They're the same shape and size, except they're a little squishier, but they look white like a ping pong ball. So go back into your egg pose. And sea turtles don't have teeth, but when they're little, they have one tooth basically on their nose to help them get out of the shell. And that tooth is called a caruncle. So everyone lift your head and pretend you have that tooth on your nose. And poke out of your shell. Poke out of your shell. We call this pipping, poking out of the shell. Well now you are out of your shell and you are with 99 of your brothers and sisters and you want to start climbing towards the surface. So let's stand back up. We're gonna climb over our brothers and sisters all the way up to the surface, but wait. We wanna make sure 
and it's nice and cool up there. So let's crouch down and we're gonna look up towards the surface. We're not out of the sand yet. We wanna make sure it's nice and cool because that tells us that it's nighttime or there's a storm and it's a little bit dark. So predators or animals that wanna eat us can't find us that well. So we're looking up and now it feels cool. Let's climb out of the nest. Now that we're out of the nest, we are going to do our hatchling pose. Hatchling is just another word for a sea turtle baby. So let's get down on our mats or our towels. We're gonna put the soles or the bottoms of our feet together, take our arms and scoop them underneath our legs. And you can do a little bit of a waddle here because that's how sea turtles move when they're little. So we're out onto the sand, we're out of our nest. It's nighttime, so let's do our moon pose. Go ahead and stand up. Sea turtles come out at nighttime because they're safer that way. So push your arms all the way up, and we're gonna do a crescent moon, kind of like a banana shape, to one side. And then we can go to the other side. Awesome. Now sea turtles are about the size of an Oreo cookie. So lots and lots of animals or predators would like to eat them. So, oh, I see something coming down from the sky. What kind of predator could that be? An eagle. An eagle, maybe a seagull or a shorebird. So let's go ahead and go into our bird pose. Put your arms straight out to the side lean forward about halfway and we're gonna try and scoop up those sea turtles those hatchlings scoop scoop if you want to practice your balance you can even put one leg out and try to scoop that way okay we're safe from the birds but what else do i see something scurrying side to side that might try to get us crab. What is that? a crab let's crouch down in our crab pose with our claws and we'll go side to side trying to get those little those little sea turtles okay and we're safe now that sea turtle wants to make it to the ocean as fast as possible so let's go back into our hatchling pose feet together arms scooped underneath our legs and let's go as fast as we can ah we're in the ocean let's go to our kneeling pose and we're gonna be a sea turtle swimming out to sea. How many times should we flap our flippers? Seven. seven times for seven species of sea turtles. So bend over, we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Awesome. Now the sea turtles try to swim out to the sargassum line. What's sargassum? Um, a bunch of seaweed? It's a bunch of seaweed. It's a floating mat of seaweed where the sea turtles can camouflage or hide. So let's do our last pose where the sea turtles are safe floating around in the seaweed until they get big enough to swim away and go to another place to find food. So let's stand up, feet apart, and we're going to lean over and just sway with the seaweed. Ah, sway with the seaweed. Awesome, and our sea turtles are safe for now. Have a seat and crisscross applesauce. So today we learned that it takes one tough sea turtle to make it from hatching the nest all the way to the sargassum line where they can stay safe for a little bit. But you know what? We can be one helpful human. There are some things that we can do since nesting season is right around the corner to help our hatchling friends stay safe. So one thing we can do is make sure that the beach is clear of any sand toys or beach furniture that might act as an obstacle for these hatchlings. So do you both like digging giant holes at the beach? Yeah. I know some of you out there probably do too. Another way we can help hatchlings is by filling in those giant holes with sand before we leave the beach. That way it'll leave a nice flat beach surface for those hatchlings to race to the ocean. 
Well, thank you all so much for joining us today, and we hope you make it to the next Ocean Moves with Moat. Bye. 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 If you enjoyed this session of Ocean Moves with Moat, please feel free to let us know. You can post pictures of you and your family doing the moves using the hashtag OMM and post to social media. Also let us know if you have any ideas or requests for stories or topics that we can include in a future Ocean Moves with Mo. Until then, be well and have a beautiful day.